Hello, dear friends. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce stress in a quick and very effective way. We're living in a stressful time where we're getting exposed to uh, things that we probably never exposed before, like the war in the world and the pandemic. Uh, situation, uh, our personal situations, when we get fired, we get divorced, we get into fights with our close ones, with our tenants, with friends, um, you name it, right? And uh, the most important thing is to get out from um, the stressful state of mind as soon as possible before it can start impacting you. And for that, I want to show you a quick technique that you can use. So. When you look at a paper and you imagine the situation that bothers you right now at this point, let's say you got fired, right? And you are thinking and exaggerating it in your mind. And then you're doing something like this. Emotional catharsis on one, two, three, okay? And from that point on, what you really want to do, you want to, come back to resourceful state. So just imagine that you feel like this right now, like jammed piece of paper, impacted by, by the huge stress, but you really want to unpack, to get unfrozen and get back to your normal life. That's the idea behind that. So once you've done your emotional catharsis on the paper, what you can do, you can start using neurographic lines in order to dissolve it. And your neurographic lines can be started at any point in the paper. You can start it from the edge of the paper. You can also start somewhere in the middle, like here. And with the help of neurographic lines, we are dissolving the situation that we see on the paper. I've included videos on how to draw neurographic lines, how to draw shapes. And also I've included rounding technique that we're gonna be using in this exercise as well. So while you're doing this, please take control over your breath. If you feel that you are very tense, you're not breathing, stop, stop, drink some juice, drink some water. Slow down, slow down and pay attention to your body. Do you have tension somewhere in your body? Maybe in your neck, maybe in your entire body. Then breathe into that part of the body that got impacted by the stress. Just imagine how your breath goes there and clears it out. And continue drawing your graphic lines. Just continue and just see and feel how your stress goes away, how your mind now is focused on the tip of your marker. You really need to follow the tip of your marker here because that would stop your racing thoughts from progressing. Okay. So while you flow with your graphic line, your thought pattern should flow along with the line. Instead of focusing on negative now, we are focusing on artwork. And we all know the impact of art therapy on us, right? When we are focusing on beauty, when we are focusing on creating an art project, that really pulls us away from negative thinking and really brings back the resourceful state of our being. So just continue until you feel you had enough of lines. And again, you can start from any point on and continue, okay? And look what I'm doing. I'm actually going over with my neurographic lines, over the lines that I've created here. Okay, you can leave some of them. They're gonna get dissolved. You will see how it works. And now you can start rounding. And breathe, you know, if you have a nice music like the sounds of nature or Tibetan singing bowls, you can certainly use them for this practice. You can watch my video 
and listen to the music at the same time. I cannot do that here because you're not gonna be able to hear the music. I've tried it before and it kind of came out very strange. So because I'm doing it um, without any editing of my videos, um, I, I can't put any music at this point. So you choose the music that you would like to use for your drawing and start listening to what is going on in your mind, in your body. Do you feel any better? Do you feel that the anxiety is coming a little bit, that you're not as stressed as you were when you started doing this work? It will not go on immediately. It may reduce when you're gonna start rounding, but at the same time, at the same time, you just know that the more you round, the better you can start feeling. This practice is gonna bring you to the point where out of the stress, your resource will be born. You know, I've done some work with my students. I have students who study with me privately. And we started with really terrible situation. And then uh, we found a resource within our drone. And you will see what I mean by that. I hope we're going to find some resource here. Usually I do find it. Not only that I'm dissolving my stress, not only that I'm calming my body aches, my tension, I'm also finding a symbol that points me to something, something really positive. We've got a um, um, bunch of flowers as a resource when we work together and I'll show you at the end of this practice. So let's just continue. I hope you're drawing along with me. Even if you don't have such a stressful situation at this point, you still can do this practice. Just first of all, to learn the technique. That's number one. Number two, to understand what you would need to do if something really terrible happens, right? And you don't really want to get stuck in the state of mind that would continuously killing your nervous system and Reducing, reducing your ability to enjoy life. And we don't want this. We really want to enjoy life. We want to come back to the state, natural state of happiness, joy, creativity. That's the only way. And definitely, you know, if you're planning on going to a party and maybe drinking or smoking or doing some other things, Think about it, right? It, it may bring relief, but in the long run, it's not gonna help in bringing back to the resourceful state. And you really need to get back to resourceful state. Neurographica is the best tool for this because it brings creativity to the process. And we all know that creativity is like a medicine for our mental state, for our physical being, for all aspects of our life. Once we bring creativity, a lot of things get resolved by itself. So let's just continue, continue rounding. And in this situation, you really want to round all the crossings. You may still leave some because we're all human beings. You know, we're trying to be perfect here and round as much as we can. And that's what we need to strive for. But you know, if you leave a little bit, it's fine, unrounded, right? I would not really um, get upset about this. And sometimes when we start coloring, we are noticing um, unrounded crossings and then we can just clean it up a little bit. It's totally fine. But notice already how this whole catharsis that you thrown on the paper becomes more like something Interesting, like abstract art. We're creating new neurological connections that uh, will bring us to the resourceful state of mind. 
and we do have intention to get back, right? We're thinking about it. We're breathing. And we know, just know that this practice will help you out and bring you back to you, to you normal, to you how you were before this event happened in your life. You may thicken certain lines if you think that they're not really prominent, they don't look, um, they're not very visible. So then you could just thicken them and continue rounding, continue. You know, sometimes people think neurographic takes too much time and they give up, but you can do the same practice on the half of the, half of the album and basically just that side. Okay, if it seems too much to you in the beginning. But for people who really want to challenge themselves, not only working on their state of mind, but also working on technique, I would encourage you to use this size. It's a regular size album. And I'm showing this album in my introductory videos that I'm including into this video. Um, not into the video, I'm sorry, into comments under this video. So let's continue. Let's make sure that we round as much as we can. And really, you know, some people, what I've heard from some people, oh, I'm getting even more frustrated because I have to do this. Well, you know, we've experienced what I noticed when you do a lot of drawings, it doesn't matter how much rounding you need to do. You really feel calm, doesn't bother you you are ready to round the whole world <laughs> around you. Some people even tell me that they're rounding everything, like if they see some patterns outside of, um, of the drawing, let's say they see some uh, patterns on the wall or they walk and they see a ground and they see some lines there, they feel like they need to round them <laughs> mentally. And it's a good thing, right? Because we know that the crossings, unrounded crossings in neurographica, the way we teach, they create a conflict. It's like two separate beings being crossed with each other. But once you round them, you integrate them into one pattern. You see how everything looks integrated now, okay? And certainly you can add some figures if you feel like, you see like here, I. I find a figure that I can continue and create a circle. You can do that. And circles are usually very helpful um, because circles are holistic figures and any other figures may totally fit into circle. So, but now you really need to round all the crossings again. See how everything gets integrated into one pattern. Nothing exists by itself. And that's the basic of neurographica. Everything, all the parts of drawing need to be integrated into one. What it does to our brains, we're coming back to a whole, to holistic view of our being. We are part of the world. We are part of the process. Whatever happens in the world, we are part of this but it doesn't have to kill us. It doesn't have to bring us to terrible state of mind and the body physical state where we cannot handle it. So that's how we using simple neurographic pattern like that can totally come back to beautiful state. Okay. And um, I'm pretty sure when we complete this work you're gonna feel much better. It may not completely reduce your stress, but you're gonna feel much better. And if you do another drawing using same idea, let's say if you part, for example, right? That it's a really huge thing that happens in our life when it happens. Then you could just repeat and do another drawing, but not on the same day, maybe. Try to do it in a different day. See what I'm doing? Like I felt like to add another line and I've added here. I can add more lines, like I feel I don't have enough lines here. I started from here. My idea is to dissolve what is on the paper. That's my idea. 
And again, if we're eating lunch, just please remember that we need to cross them. We need to cross all the crossings. Uh, we need to round all the crossings that we see, okay? And if you don't feel you have enough, just add more lines. And usually happens uh, intuitively. We don't specifically know where to add the lines. We just feel like, okay, this kind of look empty. Maybe I should add a line here and then it will look better. Okay. So here I feel like I have enough. And now we need to start coloring. So when we're working on stressful situation, I would think that you should be using colors that make you feel better. Whatever you like, you know, some people like blue, some people like green, whatever calms you, whatever makes you feel happy, please use that color, okay? Um, and uh, I'm gonna start with yellow because sometimes yellow can bring some other ideas. Okay, so let me just start here and then I'll add some other color. So when we're coloring, it is our next level of integration. So first we had this conflict inside of us, this tension, this maybe anger, maybe depression even, right? That you thrown on the paper in order to start dissolving it and in order to get back to integrated state of mind. And then the next step that you do, you dissolve it. You dissolve it on, on the paper using neurographic lines. And now is the next step. You just start coloring. You start coloring. You can really push your pencil hard in one place to create kind of like a 3D effect. You could do that. And, you know, you don't really need to think too much where to start coloring. Absolutely not necessarily. You can start coloring anywhere, like I did. I just started coloring, that's it. I started with yellow and then I had another idea to use this purple color to continue. Now I want to use some green color. And now I'm gonna start getting into a mode of looking at my drawing and following my inner feeling. What is needed here? What is exactly needed from the coloring perspective, from the number of components that we involved in the coloring? You could see in Neurographica, we don't go beyond the marker line. And we can select as many components as we want to include into a large figure that we create using neurographic um, technique, using marker. So when I color, as I'm showing you here, I don't go beyond that. I can go beyond, but then I need to color the whole thing here, specifically for the people who are starting neurographic. Okay. And I feel like for me, in this case, and it doesn't have to be the case, but and if it happens, it happens. I started to see something like a fish or something. And I just want to get to know this fish better. And you may not see a fish, you may see something totally different. But for me, I see a fish here. And now I want to go with that. And I want to color it in a way that I'm learning about this fish, what it's all about. 
the point is very interesting, right? When we coloring in the beginning, we start to see images. We may see fish, we may see a flower, we may see butterfly. Do we have to jump and start coloring immediately in order to emphasize the symbol? We don't have to. We definitely don't have to do it and it's not required. But my practice is neuro art. Like I like to create something that makes sense to me and whatever can bring me to resourceful state, I would appreciate it. So now when I found this fish, I immediately felt much better. I'm like, oh my God, she came to help me out to get out from my contracted state of mind because she's fun. She is playful. I already see it with her colors. And I may get some answers for my questions for the problem that I'm working on. You see that? I could color it totally different and I still can. I can turn this whole thing into totally different um, coloring and that where the fish is gonna be totally dissolved and we're no longer gonna see it. But I just want to show you different ways of approaching for getting a resource out of our negative state of mind. And here it's a good example, right? I found this fish and this fish really made me feel better. And immediately I just want to play with her. I want to play with her. I want to color her to make sure that my heart gets relaxed. That's what I, I want to get to the state where my heart is getting relaxed. I feel much better. And I just want to maybe swim along with this fish. And it's interesting that she holds something in her mouth maybe, or I don't know, it looks like a bubble. Maybe in this bubble, I can find an answer, okay? So that's how we work. Psychology, there's a lot of psychology involved here when we start coloring in a certain way and we still can cancel the whole thing. I may start coloring this fish, but then I turned it around just like that. And I always encourage my students to turn their drawings around because they get different perspective when they turn things around. I could see totally different thing. I could see, let's say a female figure sitting on a rock, female figure in a long dress, holding something in her hands. Maybe it is a drum, maybe it's a shamanic lady who sees and gets ready for a drumming circle. You see how interesting it can be? Or well, let's turn around this way and then we can see totally different thing. We could see uh, maybe even a bird, a bird's head, some tropical bird. At any point we can get away from the image that starts working with us. And I call it flirting. The image is flirting with us. And you see how interesting, right? We're getting shamanic lady sitting on the rock. Then we turn it and we're getting back to our fish. Interesting. So let's continue. Let's continue coloring. We use the color in one place. We have to use it in another place. And that's what I want to do. I love neurographical because it gives me different perspectives, different solutions. Sometimes I don't see any symbols and it still works for me because it helps me out to totally get relaxed, totally get out from negative thought pattern. And that's what we want. We want to stop this racing thought machine from killing us. And I love it. Then immediately my mood goes up. I enjoy what I see. I love it. She's beautiful. I know she came here to tell me something. That's how our brain works. When we work hard on getting back to resourceful state, we are getting some feedback. 
and the feedback can come in a way of an image, a thought, or even a sound. Some people, my, my students, they tell me they can start hearing sounds. It is a, the approach that really involves everything. Smell sometimes people feel. I know that my students sometimes say, I feel like I smell ice cream. What a beautiful way of working on the issue, okay? So yes, it looks like she's a tropical fish. <laughs> Isn't that something, you know, as I was telling you, Yesterday, we've got a bunch of tulips, and now we're getting some mysterious, mysterious fish. Let me call them more here in yellow. I don't know what it is yet. I have no idea, but I'm going to be thinking about it. I'm going to be keeping it in my mind. And I want to color a little bit more so it looks prettier. Here I'm using Prismacolor. The quality, very soft, very nice quality. I like the way it looks on the paper. Beautiful. She's beautiful. I'm gonna add some more here. As I said, if we use color in one place, we really need to use it in another place. For balancing, right? All right, so let me just add some blue. I may add some accent colors. You know, when you're getting artistic object like I just got, then you can start really invoking your artistic abilities in order to emphasize this object. And again, let's see what happens if we're gonna wrap these. Let's do that. What happens? Nothing much. We still see this shamanic woman sitting with her drum holding it like a huge drum that she's about to start playing. And what happens here? Same thing is here. It's kind of like a small bird carrying something on her beak. Interesting, isn't it? I love it. I love it when we get in resourceful image. And the fish is such a beautiful image. Fish is flying in the water, uh, flowing in the water flying. That's true because there are some flying fishes as well. She's flown in the water, free to go anywhere she wants. She's calm. She's pretty. <laughs> and all she thinks about finding food. And definitely this is something that can bring very nice calming feeling of being protected, being totally with the flow, going to the right direction. And it's fascinating when we are consumed by artwork, our thought pattern stops or slows down. And we immediately, immediately start feeling better you're feeling more relaxed, like even my speech getting slower. And it's a good sign. That means I'm getting relaxed. I'm no longer consumed with whatever happened. Okay. You don't have to color the entire thing, by the way. Once you found a resourceful, moment like you say okay i've colored to the point where i feel i've got what i wanted from this drawing 
understand you don't have to color the entire thing. But if you really want to create a beautiful piece of art, why not? Why not to continue? And for me, it, it's a bubble. She just holds the bubble. And the bubble is the oxygen, <laughs> extra oxygen that we sometimes need in order to come back to resourceful state. That's why I'm saying breathe, breathe. For that, we need oxygen. All right. Just like that. So you may get totally different image, totally different. But um, when you finish coloring, what I suggest you can emphasize the part of the drawing that you really found resourceful. So for me, there was this image of this fish. So I want to thicken the lines around the entire image in order to put more emphasis on that, just like that. I'm thickening it up, making it more visible to myself because I know I'm gonna be looking at this fish. And then thinking about the problems that invoked her, and they're not gonna be as terrible as they seemed before I started drawing. Here, I just put an emphasis on this entire figure. I'm gonna continue working on this image. Let me just show you the other one that we've done with my client. Let me find it, just give me one second. Yes, right there. She was working on the issue of divorcing her husband and these things happened also very fast. And we've been working together and she was drawing herself and I was drawing myself. So my drawing looked like this at the end. So instead of stressful way of thinking about divorce and what terrible things it can bring, I've got this bunch of tulips. And definitely in the sense of spring coming and renewal, immediately, immediately, I felt like my heart was sinking and she felt exactly the same way because she also got her resourceful image different from this. She, she's got a bird that was holding a flower in her beak and she felt like this bird is a messenger that everything is gonna be all right. You see how we work with Neurographica? It's not only fun, it's not only creative way of expressing ourselves, it's also deep psychological work. Would you agree? I'm interested to see your images, whatever you coming with this practice, join my free Facebook group it is posted in the comments. Join my educational programs. If you're interested, send me an email. I'm listing my email in the comments as well. Um, and please be in touch and I want to communicate with you. I want to see how you're doing, how you're drawing and what your results are. And definitely comment on the video. Um, please like it if you really like it. And then uh, we can discuss more when you join my group, we can discuss more what you have done in order to help yourself. What image you've got as a result of your drawing. Did you get any symbol? And if you didn't get any symbol, it's totally fine because neurographic is an abstract art, all right? So please be in touch. I'll talk to you soon and happy drawings.